You may have been wondering where I've been the last couple days. Well, I've been here, playing My Hero Ultra Rumble. It's really fun. Alright, so I know how to play, but for anyone who's... <coughs> like I was saying, I know how to play, but for anyone who's just coming to the channel and seeing the game, I'll go through the tutorial so you know what's up with it. And I'll explain along the way whatever they don't cover. So pretty much, you know, we have our basic movement, run wazda, you know. Typical, dash, press shift, I'm on PC for that. They'll get into the actual mechanics after this, you don't really need to know about the <laughs> movement. But I'm going to show it all, just because. Control dodge. Now dodging gives you iframes. If you don't know what iframes are, iframes are invincible frames. At the start of your dodge, you can't be hit. Which is great for mobility. Because once you if you see someone getting hit, they'll just start diving away from you or diving towards you. Of course it doesn't work all the time. I mean the iframes do, but spamming dodge is not gonna You don't want to spam dodge against certain characters. Well any character. You have to fight in certain situations. But we'll get into that later on. F for melee. I've changed my controls a bit. So if anything's different, that's why. His quirk skills. Now for Midoriya, he's a nice all-rounder, you see. He has a shoot, a, well, a range attack. Good range. Very decent range. Very good range. Black whip. Okay, I missed. I'm gonna show you black whip again. Ah, uh, yes. I I'm gonna at least show what the tutorial character can do. Just on cooldown. Gotta wait for that to black whip. Mobility. Great. His kick. Also good for mobility. Or his damage. He's a good all-rounder. A great starting character. And uh, aim mode, you just aim your quirk, or not, you know. Yeah. What? Wait. Are you kidding? Wait. I actually didn't know about this. Well, anyway, every character has an ability. Midoriya's ability is to press R and you uh, carry them on your back. If you drop them, they immediately, they immediately revive. This works on down teammates. Ida can do it as well. Froppy can pick you up from a distance and revive you. Mr. Compress sucks. Moving on. Next up, items. items, yes. Now, if you pick up an item, well, th 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 they're showing it. I am an assault. Midori is an assault type. So if you pick up an assault type item, it'll level, level up the corresponding quirk for what you picked up. And an upgrade card, well, naturally, you know. You upgrade your quirks. You click on what quirk you want, and it's, you know, yeah. Quirk Alpha is usually. Well, for Midoriya, I think it's Quirk Alpha the most because it's just good. It's very nice. It's his shoot attack. With main source of damage, you can consistently shoot someone over and over again if they don't evade or dodge. Whereas your kick will CC them. It knocks them down. Which gives them some frames of invulnerability when getting up. But you know. I, I, I'm gonna play a game today, so you all will see. Now here's an ability. These are... Okay, I didn't mean to... Uh, okay, yeah, cool. I, I wanna use it. Uh, th this ability is the speed of it. Well, the... I'm also very new. I don't know all the specific terms. I'm going to say this is the Agile ability. Now this one specifically increases your movement speed by 10% and also does this little trick. I'm running against the wall. Nothing's happening. But if I use a little doohickey... Try this. Look at that! Running up the wall! It's amazing for people who can't run up walls. And I see so many, I see so many players just not pick it up and use it ever. Damn it. I'm not losing this fight. Ah yes. And now... Oh, no. On to reviving. Something that is very valuable when you have that one teammate who just goes off on their own. But to get revive tokens, you have to get them from specific chests, but more consistently, you can get them from civilians. If they drop from gold chests, the very large chests, and well, yeah, civilians. She's gone now, but you know. And with this, you survive a teammate. It puts up this big pink beacon, so you want to be careful with this, because you will uh, be calling everyone to your location. I'm not sure if that spawns in a bush or not, but I could probably test that. And now, here is... Oh, 
Cool. So this is plus ultra mode. Whenever you're, whenever you're like, your teammate, well, they, they explained it. Whenever your teammates are down or dying, you can go plus ultra. And that'll give you all of your shield back. And you also... Getting all quirks level, all abilities up to level 9. Pretty great. And even though I knocked them out, if you hold the melee button above someone, it does an execution. This isn't exactly the best course of action in every scenario. Because uh, if you use an execution while you get, and you get shot at, it's going to just reset the entire animation. And it's going to, you know, it's not good. Because they'll revive within like 30 seconds. So you don't, you don't want to leave them on the ground. Because then they'll just run away. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, well, I should beat this. It's a three-person team, eight teams in total, Battle Royale. I actually like this one. I, 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 I don't know if I just hate Fortnite. I don't hate Fortnite. I hate building in Fortnite. I never got, I never liked it. It's just, ah, mm. But this is very nice. You defeat all of the teams, yeah. Time limits when only team remains. Spectator mode. If you die, you spectate your, your other teammates. Or if you all die, you spectate other people in the match. You can cheer for them, give likes. It's a cool, cool system to show recognition for who has the, the sauce. Safe area. You know, per the, the safe area gets smaller so people don't hide on the edges of the map. It's a purple circle. Closes. If you're downed outside of the safe area, your respawn timer will pause. So say if you're like two seconds to respawn and the purple mist catches up to you, You'll die if you don't get out. If you, but if you're within the circle, you'll be fine. Granted, no one finds you. Civilians, you save them. If you save a civilian, you, you'll get a revive card automatically. And you can get a health or a shield drink. Which will heal your entire team when you drink it. It's fantastic. Battlefield Destruction, you can destroy buildings. Pretty, you know, pretty, yeah. HP gauge, you know, typical KO, yeah. GP gauge. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's not shield. It's guard power because this causes you to block. This prevents you from getting staggered, and you're able to actually take hits. Once this goes away, you'll start getting knocked down and CC'd a lot. And yeah, that's a tutorial. Now we'll have an actual game. Oh, well, okay, the tutorial game. Ah. Here is good. Um. Okay. 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 This, this today will be the tutorial video. I'll do an actual game tomorrow, I guess. I got the sauce. You don't want to miss it. I'm happy we spawned here because this this is the giant chest. It's a beacon in the sky. Everyone knows it's here. The announcer even announces it's here. But you want to get this chest. As long, don't, 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 don't die for it. But you want to get it because it drops all of these goodies. Look at my backspace. I should have showed the prior backspace. This drink levels up your entire, everyone on your team's quirk. Arrive card, boom, got that. I'm not explaining anything at all. We're just gonna go. This is a tutorial. I'm gonna murder every NPC because this is extremely easy. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't even fight back. I know. This is, this is not my first time being here. I'm gonna drink this drink just because I can. Full shield. I'm very positive that. Everyone's in the safe area. Thank goodness. So as you can see, that purple outline over there—that's the safe area. If you look at the map here, it's getting smaller. So it just corrals us into all fighting each other. Pretty great stuff. I missed Black Whip again. Ah uh, yes, everyone else. There goes a Froppy. And she's down. Yeah, the tutorial's pretty basic stuff. Nothing's really hard here. You just do your thing. I didn't mean to execute them, but hey, they're not going to stop me. They're not going to stop me. I'll take my time, actually. Let me get my quirks up. Fantastic. Come here, all right. Come here. He tried diving. I'll, I'll just execute everyone. It's, it's actually not that long of a process. You can't do it in the middle of, like, a battlefield. Or you're going to get stopped, obviously. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba. Hey, Poppy. Hey. And this is the game, pretty much. You do this in a chaotic frenzy against every other team trying to win. I've been having the time of my life with this. This has affected multiple multiple recording sessions. You know when you find a new game and you just get addicted to it? You just can't stop playing it? Oh, look at the last team. I should also mention Black Whip can actually, like, actually stop some... Oh. We got a fighter. 
Okay, not not really. She's not. Okay, here's what Black Wolf can also do. Okay, I, I missed. Whatever. You can grab pull someone towards you. But you don't need to see that. Is that you, you're never really gonna use Black Whip like practically to grab someone. It'll mostly be to just move around the map. Really? Now? Like this. Calm yourself. It's terrific for running away. Or closing the gap. Either one. I won't give up. I won't oh well. Goodbye, Bakugo. That's the game. The entire game. That's only one character. But you get that's how you play pretty much. Midoriya is very good. I can't emote, but he's very good. Bakugo's good, Midoriya's good, Todoroki's good. As I also, I also mentioned, whilst playing this, we're not gonna sweat on this channel. We're not sweating. I'm good at the game, at least for my rank. I hey. It depends, it, it depends on who I play. Bakugo is not hard to play. He's just very much the best character in the game because of his offensive arsenal and goaded mobility. But yeah, this is we're going to be casual here. Chilling. Having a good old time. With that being said, thanks for watching. I truly do appreciate it. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh. Oh. I'm, oh, oh my gosh, no. Please, please. Ha <laughs> ha!